Amen. The word. Amen. It's coming. Thank you for your patience. How many came just to have church on today? Amen. Amen. Some of you do, as I do every week, I give through my give to fire. Amen. JD.
Amen. They're going to give me just a half of something or a whole of something, however they want to do it. Amen. And we're coming back as soon as they are done to give you the word. Amen. Y'all give them a break they can for me.
say, won't he answer prayer? Amen. We're thankful again. Thank you so much. Amen. Brother Williams and the sisters, amen. Thank you for that great selection because he will answer prayer. He's a prayer. Ask him, God. Amen. May not come when you want him. But he's right on time. And he might not answer it the way we think he all answer. But he will answer. Amen. Let us stand on your feet for the word. God our Father, we come. As the empty pitch before, before fountain. There's absolutely nothing that I can do without you, Lord. Asking you right now to touch in this house. Touch the text, touch the meaning of the text. Open our minds, open our hearts to receive your word. Let your word go out and let it return not void. We thank you right now. We give honor to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Second Corinthians chapter 12, that's amazing that they sung that song on this text and they had no idea what we was going to read. But that's how the spirit works. Second Corinthians chapter 12. I want you to zero in on it. Verse 7 through 10. Uh, I'm reading out of the new King James Version, which pretty much reads almost exactly the same on this text as the Old Testament, as the uh, King James. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter 12 says, Lest I should be exalted above measures. Y'all see that? Yeah. By the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me. Y'all see that? Yeah. <coughs> a messenger of Satan to buffet me. Yeah. Lest I be exalted above measure. Yeah. Concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times All right. that it might depart from me. Yeah. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for you. Yeah. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I would rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Watch verse 10. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distress, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. I want to talk about grace for the grown-ups. Amen. You can be seated. You can be seated. Grace. Grace for the grown-ups. Grace. I was excited. Thought about it. I don't know if you noticed, it's already December 18th, 2022. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but God has already brought us almost through another year. Some still may not make it, but he brought us Say this for That's grace. In fact, y'all, he woke us up this morning. That's grace. In fact, he started us on our way. That's grace. Grace for grown-ups comes to 
with me because God gives us this in three different ways. Number one, he just gives us some grace. You ain't asked for it. Un unmerited grace. Unmerited favor. Just giving it just to be given it. You ain't worth nothing for it. He just just gave it to you every morning. You wake up with some brand new grace. To borrow five dollars, we can talk about it. Yeah, right. uh -huh. You can ask me to borrow a ten dollars. Maybe we can talk about it. Yeah. But don't ask me to borrow none of my grace. <laughs> I need all of my. I don't know how you feel, but I need all of my yeah. grace oh, yeah. because it's something that we didn't deserve that God just gave. Yeah. Number one, He. Gives us grace. Yeah. Number two, we experience his grace. Yeah, 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 yeah. God can't give us everything. He got to make us work for something. That's right. yeah. Talk to me, son. I promise I ain't going to hold you long. But I ain't going to get through till I get through. Number one, he gives us some grace. Number two, we experience some grace. In other words, we work for some grace. And, 
And he was excited about his experience. Yes, sir. Anybody in here have had an awesome experience? Yes, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Everybody's experience is different. Yes, I had an awesome experience because he brought me through the pandemic. That's an awesome experience. If you are still here today, he brought you through an awesome experience. Doctor can lay you down, yes. give you some anesthesia. Right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Right. Cut you open, yeah. do surgery on you, yeah. sew you back up, yeah. wake you back up, talk to me, somebody, and you back here today. That's awesome. That's fair. He said, I was caught up into the third heavens. He said, he said, wait a minute now. He said, I heard some stuff that, that no man have ever heard. I saw some stuff that no man have ever seen. And I want to brag on it because it was me. Talk to me somebody who I, I kind of felt like on top of the world. Yeah. Sometimes God was, was making us feel like that we are on top of the world. But in our mind, we must remain humble yeah. to the fact that at the end of your great experience, you're still human. He didn't want to take Paul too high up. Let me tell you something. This brother here is some awesome brother. Uh -huh. Paul was Saul. Yes, Don't y'all forget that. Yes, he was Saul unto the Damascus experience. Yes, Talk about him. He, he wrote over half of the New Testament. Yes. But they had an awesome experience. One thing God then let him forget that you're still human. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I have, I'm almost through. Paul saying, I got an issue. As good as we look, we have some issues. I don't want to name them. I could name them some. As good as we feel right now, We have some issues. And the truth be told, all of us got to go home and get on our knees and pray. Don't you know, don't you know of God that never let nothing happen? We would think that we are above the world. I think I'm better than Frank. Frank will think he's better than me. But can't nobody say that because all Hold 
who you are. The devil is everywhere. Say it if you want. You don't have to believe me. He's everywhere. And every now and then, he can get in on any of us. I'm trying to move, but I, got, I can't. I can't rush it. They had a thorn. The Bible said, in his flesh. Paul goes to God. Am I in the text? He said it in the New King James Verse. I asked him three times. James sung this song. He asked a prayer. He asked God. Y'all gonna make the preach out of the Come on. To remove the thorn. God says, no. used to 
to be, I'm going to close y'all. You used to be Saul. I was walking down. Oh, shucks. <laughs> the master's road. And a light shine. A bright light from heaven. <laughs> Says Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And I changed. Oh, y'all. <laughs>
what he was putting on. <laughs> he was putting on. His guy got the clothes. Somebody said, Well, you won't do it. He said, Yes, grace is making me do it. When they put the cross on his back, he woke up, guy got the heel. He was talking about grace.
in his care. Every day. Some days we feel good. Some days we don't feel good. Holy Ghost. 
Holy Ghost will be of offense. All right. Thank you so much. We thank y'all so much for that second meeting. And Dr. Stater. And we're praying for Dr. Strong. Y'all give it up for him in first place. They deserve a new independence break. Not that they're trying to get it, but they deserve a new independence break too. Amen. Amen. Y'all stand up. We get ready to go. Y'all be safe now. Got a few last minute shopping to do. Whatever you got to do, but be safe. Ask God to go with you. Right. 